tech billionaire Elon Musk worked illegally in the United States long before he became one of Donald Trump's largest donors and campaign surrogates for the upcoming U.S. presidential polls. Well, the Washington Post quoted a former business associate's court records and company documents to state that Musk had not publicly disclosed of not having a legal right to work in the U.S. while building the company that became ZEP2 later. The report also states that Musk never enrolled in his graduate study program at Stanford University after moving to Palo Alto in California in 1995. Instead, he reportedly devoted all his time to work on his startup. Zip2 in 1999 sold out for about $300 million. It became a stepping stone for Tesla to Tesla for Musk. Musk has emerged as a staunch supporter of presidential Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump and donated $75 million to his political action committee to put Trump back in the White House. As per reports, the donation made Musk one of the largest spenders of the 2024 cycle. The Tesla CEO, who now also owns X, formerly known as Twitter, is a South African-born entrepreneur. Since acquiring X for $44 billion in October 2022, Musk has always tried to monetize the social media platform extensively by live streaming video and audio calls. Now, according to legal experts, leaving school... Mas, uh, it left Musk without a legal basis to remain in the United States because foreign students cannot drop out of school to build a company, even if they're not immediately getting paid, said, Elon, uh, said Leon Fresco, a former Justice Department immigration litigator. In 2020, Musk claimed he had a student work visa after deferring his studies at Stanford. I was legally there, but I was meant to be doing student work, he said in a 2020 podcast. Just last month, Musk called himself extremely pro-immigrant and added that whoever is allowed in the country should be talented, hardworking and ethical.